Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gearhead the Man. No, I'm just kidding, everyone. What's going on, people? This is Gearhead the Man coming to you with everything Lego. And I got a new tier here, obviously. It's on the Lego City Helicopter Rescue, set number 4429. Alright, everybody, this is a great set. You got four minifigures up on the uh, frontal lobe here. Oh, yeah, autofocus, I forgot. Screw up, going up, going to manual. Still trying to figure out this new camera, y'all. That's that's all that that is. Okay, anyway, four minifigures. Uh, great looking building. Very modernized. And of course the helicopter. As suggests the name Helicopter Rescue. And we have the guy down there that's going to need some rescuing later. I will demonstrate that shortly. And so, like any good tour, let us commence with the the viewing of the minifigures. Yes, indeed. All right, so here is the first minifigure. He has that uh, it's kind of default brown hair that's rather well kept. He's very handsome. But then you get down to his eyebrows, and you're just like, why are his eyebrows different color from his hair? And no one really knows. But that's okay. We still love him just like the other minifigures. And he's just got that kind of uh, slight smile, kind of, kind of the good day face. I call it the good day face. Moving down a little bit further, he has a... Uh, Nice green sweater with a blue undershirt with one button unbuttoned to look a little bit professional. And it has a little bit of back printing as well. The collar and the uh, waistband starts showing up. And you get down a little bit further and uh, you notice that he's holding a uh, banana. And uh, you know what? You know what? That's okay. I don't know why Lego included that that this guy is holding a banana. But you know what? He can have a banana if he wants to. He, does, he doesn't need your permission to have a banana. I mean, okay, I don't know where you guys live. I don't know, viewer, I don't know where you are right now. But I, as you can tell from my southern accent, live in America. And in America, we can have bananas if we so wish. So don't hate on the fact that he has a banana because we, we don't know. We don't know why he has this banana. He could have like some kind of like committed relationship to potassium. That banana could be like a part of his religion. We don't know. So, he has a banana, get used to it. End of story. He also has some gray pants, and uh, that about wraps him up. Coming up next, we have the uh, ambulance driver. And uh, she has uh, some very short hair going on, or maybe she, maybe it's just tied up, maybe she's having a lazy day, or maybe that's just how they have it, the, uh, the uh, um, regulations at the hospital. Either way, she just has a blue hat, and she's, um, she's having a great day, that's her great day face. Not much more to say. Got got some makeup, some lipstick. And I think that might be some mascara. I don't know, maybe it's Maybelline. But then you go down further, and she has a um, fluorescent red suit with some yellow accents, some um, reflective tape, and a white undershirt. And then there's some nice printing on the back. Nice big logo on the back. Some, some ruffle ruffliness on the bottom there, and then some more reflective strips. And then just has red pants as if it's maybe a jump, uh, jumpsuit or maybe some scrubs or whatever. This is the um, helicopter driver, or depending on which way you look at this kind of set, it could be a stunt person. I don't know. Helmets can be used for a lot of dangerous activities. I mean, who's to say? Okay, yeah, he's the helicopter driver, pilot. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, so as always, the little visor flips up. And this one, I don't know. I don't know if I have this on wrong or something, but this one is like a little bit harder to flip up than the visors have been in the past. It's, it's got some restraint to it. It's a little stubborn. I mean, it, it always has been kind of kind of mean, that, that visor. I don't know. It's just, it just kind of wants to do its own thing. And that's just the way it's why We can't do anything about it. It's okay. It's okay. He's got some orange glasses under there with a big smile. That, that That's probably his great day face as well. And um, going down, he's got some uh, some ropage, some hookage, and some some pockets. And that I think that might supposed to be a uh, reflective strip in the middle there. And it's got a nice collar and zipper going down the middle as well. And some nice back printing with some straps, it looks like, and then some ruffleage up in there too, and another reflective strip. Uh, going down a little bit more. Nice blue pants. And, um, got some kind of, I don't know, I don't really know what that is. I think that might be some kind of, like, ID card or something. 
I don't know. Or maybe it's just fan. Maybe those are designer jeans, and that's what the designer puts there. I I don't know. I just I I don't know. And that that looks like a pocket right there with a zipper, which is fantastic. Got to put all his uh, rescue stuff in there in that pocket. Okay, and judging by the uh, tan-fastic hair and the worried expression on his face, this guy is obviously uh, the doctor. And, uh, yeah, like I said a second ago, he has some nice hair. I mean, just that comb-over, not quite middle-aged, still young, keeping it real hair. Yeah. And then the face, that's, that's the kind of, like, face. Yeah, that's the face, like the... Yeah, I'm, I'm in a good mood, but it's it's stressful to be a doctor. You know, doctoring is is kind of difficult, but I'm holding in there. I got a smile on my face. Yeah, okay. Um, going down a little bit more. He's got a lab coat with some scrubs underneath him, some scrubbage. Um, I guess that white bit underneath the scrubs is like a is a um, undershirt. I don't know. I feel like they kind of should have put like the yellow there for the skin tone that the uh, minifigures have. That's the race that the minifigures have, the yellow. And uh, they have a nice ID card there printed on the torso. That's that's kind of a cool touch. I wouldn't have thought of that. But I'm not a Lego designer, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But that's that's cool looking. And then they have the, um, the uh, what's it called, stethoscope around his neck. So that's kind of a nice touch. And around the back, he's got some back printing, some ruffleage. I've said that about, like, every minifigure so far. But it's kind of cool, because every minifigure in this set has some back printing on the torso, so that's um, a nice touch. Way to go, Lego. High five. Um, going down to the pants, this is a cool, this is, I think this is a cool minifigure overall, because um, the back printing, the ID card, and then the legs, they have um, the overcoat, or the lab coat, printed on the legs, because it hangs down a little bit, you know? Yeah, and so um, it's on the front, but it's not on the sides, and it's not on the back, but that's, you know, that's okay. That's I'm I'm thankful that they just that they just have the uh, the printing on the front. I'm just thankful for them. I'm thankful for this whole set. You know, it's nice to have uh, nice things with Lego. Thanks, guys. Um, so he's also holding a syringe, and that's also a very doctory quality or a, or a meth head quality. I don't know. This could go in either direction. I mean, I mean, judging by the way he's dressed and what he works in, that's probably not meth. But it could be. We don't really know. I didn't see what he put in there. And uh, oh, you know what? I guess I guess that's why they give you two of them. They give you two syringes. And where's the other one? I, I thought I had it down here. Do I? No. Is it just not gonna? Okay. Well, yeah. One cool thing about this says that you do get two syringes. And um, I'm convinced that one is filled with meth and the other one is filled with um, helpful medicine. And I think I gave him the uh, meth one. Uh, so sorry about that, Mr. Doctor. Okay, so here is the rescue vehicle, um, commonly referred to as an ambulance, or an ambulance. And uh, the back opens up, revealing a stretcher inside for the guy with the banana, who we're, not, we're still not going to question him. It's okay to have bananas, and it's also okay to have these uh, sick looking decals on the side here. Let me get this in a close up. Mm-hmm. It's looking good on the side of that ambulance. Same on the back. Got a little license plate down there. Insurance, anyone? And same on the back. I actually put one of these upside down. I think it was this one. Yeah, I... Did I? No, I don't think I did, actually. Okay, why I think that... Why I thought that is beyond me. I don't know. Forget I said anything. Moving on. Um, it rolls well like any Lego vehicle does. Just tan fasting. More license plate and insurance information on the front. Um, it's pretty basic actually. There's really not a whole lot to say about it. I mean, what you see is what you get pretty much. It's, um, yep. Lights on top. Some vents there. Um, the roof comes off. You know, actually a lot of things come off on this because it's, um, it's Lego. So a lot of things do come off. Low cockpit. Uh, there's a window in the back there. You can't really see it. Out of there. The guy with the banana isn't even there. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say. Moving on to the helicopter. Once I get the... There we go. All right. All right, so this is the helicopter, as I call it. It's a very well-designed vehicle. Looks kind of short in the body though. I feel like there's just like a chunk missing right there. Maybe if you pull that out, then that kind of compensates. But then you got the—I don't know. It's 
Mm, whatever. It's a it's a hospital chopper, so I guess those kind of like they they roll differently. Well, for one thing, they don't roll at all, unless it's on the ground. If it's on the ground, then it'll roll. But besides that, it, it'll you know, it does what what a helicopter does. But um, this set comes with two stretchers, which is kind of cool. One is in the ambulance, obviously, and then one is on halfway in the chopper. There we go. Um. Rolls nicely. The uh, front wheel is on a little uh, hinge, or not a hinge, but like a, a spinny thingy. Yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for. Spinny thingy. That's it. Okay, got it. And then the uh, cockpit pops off like all the other pieces do. Little control panel right there. And then uh, that's there's actually this is like the only real door on it. Usually Lego. Vehicles in general have like a little door on the side or on the top or whatever in this case It would be hard and treacherous for a door to be on the top because of the of the whoosh 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 thingies So we had the we have the spinny thingy and the whoosh 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 thingies. That's what those are and then we have a mini whoosher right here and Everything spins nicely of course one thing I did notice about this set though is that uh the uh, whoosh 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 thingies they, They're they're just like little um skinny little plates usually there's like they have the um the um like the uh like the actual blades like they like they they actually look like whoosh 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 thingies and so but no these are just like little plates but uh, overall i think it's a really cool design one thing that that does kind of annoy me about the helicopter is that um on the helipad it just it just barely fits that's i mean hmm it's so weird that I can't even think of a good analogy for how awkwardly this just kind of sits at the top. It makes up like half the building. I mean, it's just... Oh, how do I words? I don't even know. Okay. The main attraction. Or would that be the helicopter? I don't know. Because it is called Helicopter Rescue. Is this the rescue part of the set? I don't know. But, um... One thing that I did notice when I was building this set is that um, there's supposed to be another tile right there, another sidewalk piece at the end there, but it was missing. And that's that's never really something that I've uh, experienced with Lego. I've never had a missing piece before, but this is the first time. It's a pretty big piece, too. Usually, I mean, it wouldn't be as bad if it was something small, but it's a pretty prominent piece, and not a lot of people have one of those lying around. I think I might somewhere, I think, in this big... Oh, the exposure is just like, nah, dude, you're not going to show. All right, that's cool. So, um... But yeah, the uh, piece is missing, so that kind of blows. Um, besides that, though, you got this nifty sign, and this was included, as you can see. Um, A06, I don't... Oh, it's not even on all the way. How does that even happen? Why? Come on, man. Come on, sticker. You have one job. Just stick there, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah. So, nice detailed-ish sticker. Got the room numbers, I guess, even though there's like one room. Anyway, um, nice bench right there. That was a nice little addition, little bench. Kind of cool. I don't know, I feel like there should be like some pathway by it. Maybe it would just be better right here on the side of the path if it was completely finished. Whew, okay. Um, garage door goes up and down. Be very concerned if a garage door did not go up and down. And the ambulance fits in just fine. Let me just park it up in her. Yes. Yeah, it's it's snug. It's as snug as a bug in a rug, as my mother says when I was like five. <clears throat> Not any time recent did she say that. Get the lights adjusted here. You're in the show now, interior. It's your time to shine. Literally. Okay, so here's the waiting room. There's the front door there. It's kind of it's kind of blocked by this unwelcoming pillar. I feel like that's an odd place to put it. Whatever. Little seating area there. Again, a little bit awkwardly placed. It'd be kind of it'd be better if the seats were facing like outwards. I mean, heck, maybe they are, and I just built this wrong. I don't even know. No, 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 no. I'm good. The picture you can't see it because the exposure again is like really mean. It's abusive, actually. We're trying to get him to therapy for that. Anyway, but yeah, um, according to the picture on the box that I can see and you guys can't, these seats are correcto. 
And then there's a little receptionist area right here with a basic computer and a basic mug. Look how basic that mug is. Oh my goodness. And then um, you go to the top floor, you go up the stairs that don't exist, and you're greeted with a glass door that goes out to the helipad. The helicopter pad right there. That's what the H means, guys, helicopter. And you have these little windows right here, and they um, look really cosmetically appealing on the outside and on the inside, too, actually. looks They look pretty good. And um, you get two little bedlets right here, as I call them. And then um, you get one, um, I think that's called IV, or juice sack. Juice sack, they're called juice sacks, yeah. You get one juice sack. Um, apparently only one patient is important enough for a juice sack. Um, I don't know, maybe this guy just has like a really bad nosebleed, and this guy has like um, a decapitated head. His head got his head cut off. So then he's going to need an IV. I don't know if really bad nosebleed victims really need IVs or not. They could be. I could be wrong. I mean, I don't have really bad nosebleeds. But if they do, um, it is so late at night right now. Okay, so on the wall here, we got some stats, some schematics. I, I, truthfully, I don't know what schematics are. Maybe that's maybe that's what they are. I bet I bet Jay from Upside Up Productions, B Squickle House, and he could tell me. Shout out to my boy Jay from D, from B Squickle House and uh, Housing Upside Up Productions. He's a boss. Love you, bro. Mwah. No homo. Anyway, going um up here a little bit more. You got this one random decal right here. Um, I feel like it's kind of pointless. I don't really know why. And it's in like a really awkward corner just on the top right corner of this little panel here. Why does... I, I, I don't know. I didn't make this. Well, I did, but I didn't design it is what I meant. Yeah. I, I built this set, guys. I'm, I'm perfectly capable. Okay. So, going up, we have these uh, antennae. Antennas? Antennae? I don't know. I don't know. They kind of top it all off, I think. I think it looked pretty good, yeah. Visor, uh, I think I can go over. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna cut real quick and set up for the overview like I always do, so I can give my little, my little um, overview. All right, so I think this looks uh, nice, a nice display for when I'm leaving. So uh, this is a great set, you guys. I got it off of eBay for 60 bucks. Um, I think that's the regular price. Um, but it had free shipping, so I got a little bit of a deal there. And it got here in like two days, which is awesome. Like, five stars to that eBay or seller fella. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's a great set. It's just, um, I, I got it mostly for what it looks like on the outside. I'm not going to do much on the inside because I like to make custom sets, as you guys probably have figured out by now. Um, hmm, 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 what else can I say about this thing? Not really much. It's a great set. Alright guys, well, uh, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And, um, Amanda, love you, girl. You know who you are. If your name is Amanda and you don't know what I'm talking about, then just disregard this. But, yeah, I love you, Amanda. Okay. Alright guys, uh, peace is out. And, uh, cue outro music right now.